Hi guys, it's Andy. Today's session is called Death Reps. For this, we'll be focused on high intensity. I'll be a lot shorter session than the other ones we've done before. So we'll do the warm up, which is the usual warm up, and then we'll go through what we've got in store for you today. Got front mount lunges, keeps the elbows nice and high, thumbs on the shoulders. Yeah, get 90 times your both legs, drive through that lead leg. And I'll repeat that across the distance. If you've got a home. This is spider reflection. For this, we're going to go in the top of the pretzel position here. Bring foot close down as possible. Reach that arm up towards the ceiling, keep a straight line from one to arm. Bring that down. Send the other side. So we should feel both the hips opening up as well as the shoulders and feel our chest opening up. I'm going to do five of these on each side. So this one's inch one with push ups, so we're focus on um, our hamstrings for this as well as open up our chest and work our triceps. So you start standing up tall, you know, touch your toes, you walk out, keep those legs straight as you can. Top of the press up position, full press up, and walk yourself back, keep those legs straight as you can. Standing up tall, and we'll do five of those. So that's exercise, scat for the push ups. So these are version, we'll start our hands and knees, measure our hands underneath shoulders, and then knees underneath hips. You got to keep your core braced, you're just gonna let the Body slowly uh, go down until shoulder blades touch together and then drive the body up as quick as you can. So we'll do a couple more for you. So you've got to keep our body straight as you can, let shoulder blades come together slowly and rise up to the top. If you want to make it a bit harder, you can go into the full press up position. Still the same thing, keep core braced, let shoulder blades come together and then push the body up as quick as you can. So we'll do 10 of those in total. So this is 90s, 90s. We're just going to start on the floor, our heels into the floor. We're going to push knees to our right hand side. From here, we're going to adjust our legs so we get a good 90 degree angle at both legs. From here, we're just going to lean forward across our leg so we feel the opening above our hips. And touch elbow to knee, hold for a second. Come back to the top, bring feet up onto heels and switch to the other side, making sure we get a good 90 degree angle on both sides. Same again, we're going to get push elbow to knee, hold for a second and come back to the top. So we're just gonna keep repeating until we do five each side. So we should help warm up the hips with the pull of the lean, as well as head in turn like style rotation throughout. So that's one's bear calls, so we're trying to get our core engaged, as well as then our shoulder and hips move independently. For this, we'll just do it across the five, 10 meters of space you've got at home. So we're gonna go forwards and then we'll come backwards. So we'll start on our hands and our feet with knees just above the floor, keep that spine neutral, Push opposite, opposite, keep his knees close to the floor as you can. Once you've done your distance, you then come back. Plus we've got a bodyweight squat hold, so you get your feet into a natural squat position. And what we do is squat down as deep as you can, and hold this bottom position for 30 seconds. So the idea is we want to keep chest upright as we can, keep spine neutral, keep our arms off our legs, and just, just try and relax and breathe into this bottom position. So guys, that's warm up done. So we're gonna go through what we're gonna do for the session today. So we've got death by burpees and death by squats. Uh, some of you might have heard this before, it's from CrossFit. Uh, what we're doing is we're basically doing every minute on the minute. So we're gonna start with the burpee, straight arm burpees, we're gonna do for these. So on the first minute, you're gonna do one rep and then you're gonna rest for the rest of the minute. As soon as we hit one minute, you're gonna do two reps. Rest for the remainder of the minute and then you're gonna keep adding one rep every minute until basically you can't do any more reps within the 60 second of like time. Once we've done death by burpees, we're gonna rest for three minutes and then we'll repeat, but with um, body weight squats instead. And the same thing, I've got a bit more of an example here that, you know, minute zero, we do one, minute one, we're gonna do two, minute two, we'll do three, and then we'll carry on again until we can't do any more reps within the 60 second period. So it's time for the bur straight arm burpees. It's gonna be the same as what we did on our first session at the end. So we'll start up tall, come down, put feet straight on plank, feet together, jump up. And when you try and push both hands above the head in your jump. So, so now we've finished our three minutes rest and then go straight into the depo squats. Same system, the, your rest obviously in the time that you're not exercising, you'll start with one on the minute at zero and then add one every round. See how far you can get with this. Again, quads should be nice and pumped from the burpees. 
and uh, so let's go from there. Obviously, with form, just try and make sure you're hitting at least parallel. Obviously, if you can squat parallel, below parallel, a nice neutral spine, then do. But yeah, our standard is we want to try and at least hit parallel for every rep. Uh, let me know the, your scores for both burpees and squats in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.